Hello, 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 hello. Hi, everybody. How's it going? How's everyone doing? I think I think we started off good. I feel like we got the audio, we got the video, we got the fun. <laughs> uh, happy Thursday, everybody. Happy end of our week. I know it's technically not Friday, but it's the end of our week together. Um, so I'm, I'm glad we can spend this uh, little bit of time together before we head into our weekends. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Hope everybody had a great Wednesday and a good uh, start to your Thursday, depending on what time it is for you, wherever you're watching. Um, let's see. Let's see who's here. Let's check in. Uh, Yorkie's here. Hello, Ruth, Chris. Good to see you guys. Thanks for, as always, thank you for joining in and hanging out with us. Russ, hello. I don't, what, wait, hold on. Let me see if I can. A up, ow, it's east. What is that? What is is that a? Is that a language, or are those just letters put together? <laughs> uh, Mandy, how are you? Good to see you. George, hello. Dylan, hello. And then we had uh, during the intro. I'm going to replay it. Hold on, because I always like to uh, hear them. We had a uh, uh, what you call it? A resubscribe. Here we go. Where well, we're moving on. That's right, Blood Knight Games subscribed for eight months. Thank you so much for that uh, resubscribe. Preesh, my friend. Preesh. Uh, glad you could make it today. Let's see, anybody else sneak in here? I think that was it. We had a challenge right off the bat here. Dylan won, of course. Great. <laughs> um, your week started with your service car's AC not working? Oh, no. Blech. That's disgusting. Um, wait, what did he write? I can't read the chat back. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, it's, it, all it said was A up. Here, I'll, I'll copy and paste it if, if nobody does it here. This is what he typed in the chat. Um, let's see. Moving on up, moving on up. It's Yorkshire dialect, just means hello, how are you? I don't know why I had to say it that way. That was weird. Hey, yep, how it's. What was it? Uh, chin, chin. No, I forgot to get chin drag. No, chin, chin jag, chin, chin sag, chin wag. <laughs> I think chin sag's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> chin wag. I will never remember that. I'm gonna just always have something different to say, which is typically how it goes with me, right? Um, what you say? You said your EC, your your EC, your AC wasn't working. I have had a couple of times in my life where um, I've had the AC go out on me in some capacity or another. I'm trying to remember. Like I, I the most recent one was at my my, my house. Um that we were in previous to where we are now when we lived in Florida before. And the air, the air conditioner just basically like stopped. And it was like in the summer in Florida, 
And the only thing you can do is, like, turn on the fans. Uh, so I had a couple of, like, you know, fans in the house pointed, like, right at my face. Like, one, one on my nightstand, like, pointed right at my head. And then I had another one that was, like, blowing on, like, the rest of the bed. And you just, you just do what you can. The problem with the Florida heat is it's so humid. So it's like when you're trying to sleep in that weather, it's like you're trying to sleep in a swamp. It's so wet. You wake up and your sheets are damp. It's just disgusting. But anyways, uh, having an AC go out in any situation, especially if it's hot out, is, uh, is not fun. So I hope you can get that uh, fixed and going. Uh, it made the shh sound. <laughs> so it was empty of AC gas. Shh. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Uh, hey, Luke, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. Glad you could join us. Um, so, yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, listen, I'm not going to get into it because we're, it's too, we're too, it's too soon because I don't want to have any spoilers. But I watched the final episode of Loki last night. And holy cow. That's all I'm going to say. There was ups, there was downs, there was all arounds. <laughs> um, oh, even the beginning. Oh, gosh, the beginning was crazy. Like the Marvel, um, so you know how they normally do the Marvel uh, credit, you know, or the, the Marvel uh, icon, the, the tag at the beginning. And then they had, basically, this isn't really spoiling anything. It just, it was, a, it was like, as each character flew by the screen, you heard a little, like, line from you know like an iconic line or something from that particular character so cool i didn't understand why that was happening obviously as you get into it, it you know it reveals itself but like freaking awesome that was such a cool intro and i'm gonna also this is not a spoiler and i don't know if anybody's seen my post yet but the ending music for that episode i was i was i was like sitting there like a little kid listening to that song like i didn't even fast forward to the credits i just listened and i was like oh my god this is the best it's so good i wish well i'm not going to play it right now but anyways it, you can find it on they haven't released they've only released like the first half on spotify but you can find every like obviously you can find everything on youtube so i found i just typed in like loki finale end credits or something like music and you can listen to it it is so good it would, there's like certain parts of it that are just, I wonder, no, I don't know if it's going to like, it'll probably hit um, copyright stuff, I think. But it's like the best, oh gosh, it's just like, because it starts off with the Loki, like theme, like the, the, the TVA theme, you know, like the do, 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 but it's like a little bit more like epic to it. And then it kicks in to like this, like just epic music. I, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to play it. I just, it's so good. I can't not listen to it again. I'm going to listen to it with you guys because it's so good. All right, hold on. Let me pull it up here. I listened to it like five times earlier today. <laughs> I'm going to my history. History. Okay, there was two versions. Okay, there was the one. Here's the one I like. Okay, are you ready? Are you guys ready for this? I'm ready for this. Like right now, it just sounds great. Oh, those low bass sounds. Ugh. We haven't even gotten to the good part yet. Just wait. And the choir. Oh, 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 oh. oh so good. Okay, at a minute 30 is when it really kicks into gear that I... Uh, just so good. OK, 
Okay, here we go. We're about to drop here into the next part. Here we go. Oh. <clears throat> yes. I wanted to be the conductor for this one. Ah, oh, so good. And then it kicks in, this is the kicking into like the credit sounds. Like the music for the credits. Ugh. It's just so good. Ugh. Guys, I just can't stop. I can't stop listening. It's so good. Uh, yes, you're right, D uh, Dylan. It is Natalie Holt, uh, the composer. Phenomenal. Like, I want to look up more of her stuff now. Like, is, is this her first time? Because, like, it's just so good. Let me see what else she's got. Um, let's see what else is on her, uh, her ticket here. <laughs> okay, she's been around for a while. Let's see. Um... Anything that I would have, like, already enjoyed? Oh, funny enough, not really. I'll have to go back and listen to some of these other things. She's done some movies. Stardust, which I didn't see, which I, I want to watch. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't really know any of these others. I'll have to, like, oh, there's a British war film, uh, Journey's End. I haven't heard of this one. Uh, oh, funny enough, uh, Paul Bettany's in it. Huh. Our own vision, everybody. <laughs> um, cool. Anyways, great, just phenomenal. What I will say, okay, I'm gonna play this other one. So there's another. Um, if you have, if you guys have seen, um, what do you call it? Uh, um, Clash of the Clash of the Titans. Is that what it's called? Hold on. Um. The, the newest one, not the original, but the newer version, Clash of the Titans. Um, there's a song that I absolutely love. Uh, it's when, if you haven't seen it, uh, there's a moment when Hades shows up, you know, god of the under, underworld. Um, and that song, I, I, that was another one I would play like over and over again. But I want you to listen for a second because there's some similarity to that, to that very last part that we just listened to. Um, from the Loki thing. Now I want to. I want you to listen to this. I am Loki of Asgard, <laughs> and you will be at this. That's irony right there. Okay. So I can't remember when it picks up. So we're just gonna let this play here. Um, but you'll hear it. You'll hear it here in a second. It does have jaws to it. Mm. Here it comes. Get ready. Beautiful, but it has that very similar like bum 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 bum. Ugh, I love it. Uh, funny enough, the uh, Clash of the Titans that was composed by I can never pronounce his name. Is it Ra Raman Raymond Jawadi? He's done a ton of stuff. You you'll know his name. Um, 
Game of Thrones. Uh, what else has he done? Um, uh, da, 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 da. I remember looking it up one time because I was so impressed with his. Uh, he's got a long list of things that he's done. Uh, but anyways, just that. I don't know. I, I guess I have a type, <laughs> a type of music that I like. I like that dark, <laughs> sinister, bum, 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 bum type of music. <laughs> uh, anywho, okay. Um, let's see. What did I miss here? Anything? Uh, she does how awesome music. Radiant. Radiant is pretty cool. Oh, is that a thing that she did? Let me look that up real quick here. Radiant. Oh, we're getting a lot of. Um, hold on. Here we go. Radiant. Oh. Okay. I like. Oh, cool. Oh, oh I see it here. Uh, -dum -dum -dum. Nice. Okay. 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 Um. Yeah. Just. So good. So good. Um, let me see. Anything else? Uh, dun, 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 dun. I hear my man. Yeah. <laughs> Watch that DMC. I know. I'm going to get flagged. My YouTube. I don't. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll be fine. If, if not, I'll just cut it out. It's no big deal. Before I put it up on YouTube. You don't have an ad blocker? Um, not for YouTube. Uh, let's see. Jaw. Yeah, Jaws. We talked about that. Um, the Graveyard Bell. Oh, it's the best. It's the best. <gasps> Queen. Hello, Queen. How are you? <laughs> and the Golden Girls theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like dark, <laughs> dark movie uh, cinematic scores and television theme songs from the 80s. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, let's see. Anything else here? Perfect. All right, cool. So anyways, I wanted to share that with you. My love of music, I don't know what it is about it. I know, I, I feel like it's like one of those things, do any of you guys have those things that you like absolutely love, but you sometimes feel like you're not educated enough on them to like feel like you are a true fan? I don't know if that makes any sense. Because I love, like I love cinematic music. But I always get nervous when I say that because then someone will be like, oh, do you know about blah, blah, blah. They'll say a name and then I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> and it'll be something that I have heard before, right? But I'm not good with like remembering like certain names of composers or what they did or um, I don't know. Maybe it's like just a like lack of self-confidence in a in a something that I like, if that makes sense. I don't know. Does anybody have that problem? Or do you ever feel that way? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just feel that way about stuff. I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, do you only play games on PC? I do. Yeah, that's it. That's all I play on um, for streaming. Now, I do have... We do. We have a PlayStation 4 and a, a Switch. And I'll play occasionally on there. Like, usually it's with, like, uh, friends or family. Like, we'll play a game, you know, on there. But I... The, my PC is what I play everything on. Um, let's see. I like Samuel Samuel Laflamme. That name sounds really familiar. Uh, hold on. Let me see. Samuel. I feel like I've heard something of his. Outlast. I don't know that, though. Hmm. I don't know that. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to listen to his stuff. Okay, I'm going to tag that as well. Keep that up. Perfect. You know what I also love listening to? <laughs> that one's a good one. That one's a nice short, short but sweet uh, song. Uh, and then we have this one here. So nice, a little bit, a little bit more higher tone to it. You know, they really bring in the the high notes for that one. That one you get real deep. You know, real tuba level. <laughs> oh God, gracious me. <laughs> let's see um do 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 what else uh oh wait, wait what was that oh, okay um an ad blocker should work for youtube videos as well no for me it blocks them on the pc um it doesn't i don't think it like well i don't i don't know that i have an i don't have an ad blocker like obviously i have a pop-up blocker but i don't have anything that blocks ads on the on the youtube I uh, just wanted to get a quick break. Oh, my God. Hi, Tom. Hello. Glad you could stop in. Wait, Tom, did you make it in time for the farts? 
Did you get to hear them? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was out of control. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. <laughs> I get to hear the toots to cheer me up before going back to my meeting. Hey, you're welcome. No problem. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, let's see, anything else? 22A, sorry, I was... <laughs> yeah, a little slow there, Yorkie. You know? <laughs> uh, it's like I knew you were coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was... The, the universe came together. Uh, that one made you laugh? Oh, nice. Perfect. Uh, thanks so much. I needed some cheering up. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad we could bring you some laughs uh, in some capacity or another. Um... Let's see. What were we talking about? We're talking about, oh, right. We're talking about Loki. Uh, randomly, I don't know if anybody saw the announcement yet, but Steam just announced that they're releasing a, um, uh, what you call it? Like a handheld uh, gaming unit. Looks, <laughs> looks a little too much like a, a Switch. Um, but I, I didn't read too much about it yet, but all I saw in the pictures was it was like, you know, handheld games. You could play your entire Steam library, which that's crazy. And then um, it looked like you could also like hook it up to your monitor so you could have it as like a gaming type computer setup. That, that would, I got to read more about it because it, like literally it just came out just a, a little bit ago as far as like the article. But um, how cool is that? Is it called a steamer? <laughs> no, I don't know if it had an official name yet. Hold on. Let me look. Let me see if I can find this thing. Uh, Steam uh, game. Uh, what do they call this thing? It's like on every one of my social media feeds. Here we go. Um, it's called the Steam Deck. <laughs> the Steam Deck. Interesting. Smart. Well, maybe smart, but maybe not. Because I, I feel like... Uh, oh my gosh, we have all kinds of... Hey, Chris, what's up? <laughs> Uh, I got some, I got some requests to popped in there. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. By the way, prices have gone up, FYI. Well, I got to try and drain your all's accounts because like you all have so much, uh, you have too many points. <laughs> Inflation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. Here's your hydrate. Uh, posture check. Okay, great. I'm going to just sit up a little bit straighter. We'll do a stretch in a minute and we will do an evil voice story time before we, uh, get into the game. Um, yeah, Tom, I, you were, you weren't here yesterday. We had to, listen, people were telling me how many points they had now. And I was like, what? So it's gonna, it's gonna be a little high right now. And then we'll bring it back down to normal. <laughs> I have 40,000. <laughs> See, people have so much. They have, I didn't realize how, how quickly the points accumulated so i didn't realize that my prices were way too low <laughs> uh does it stream from your pc or is it independent i have a streaming tab that i can use supposedly it's independent it's on its own um but again i haven't read everything about it so i don't know the actual like um um you know technical specs for it but um looks cool i mean here's here's my here's my only problem is that like for people like me, and I don't know if anybody else out there is, is similar to me, um, like, I don't, I want to play a game on a big screen, okay? I'm, I am, I will, I will, you'll never really see me playing a game on a phone. Um, I just don't enjoy playing games like that. I don't know why, but like, I'll play like a, you know, like a, uh, what's it called? Bejeweled, you know, type game where you like, you know. The, like those are like fun to me. Those are like easy games. But you, I won't, I won't play like a you know, a full on RPG or something like that um, on a phone. I have to have like on the screen, right? So for this Steam Deck thing, I just don't. I think for people like me, I, it doesn't because I'm not like. It, now let me let me. If I was a kid, oh my god, I would have been like, please give me that immediately. Like I want to play games uh you know in that way but here's my other here's my other thing i don't know much about is like how is that going to work with like point and click games 80 years ago yeah 80 years ago when we didn't even have i was playing um pick up sticks and jacks uh <laughs> i would have loved the steam deck um 
But like, how does that work for point and click games, you know, uh, where you need a mouse or a keyboard or something like I, I mean, who knows? I'm sure they've got it all figured out because, you know, right now you can plug in your controller and about to head off. Can I get a proper send off? Yep. Here you go. Here you go. Let me see. Let me find a good one for you. Hold on. Here we go. How about this one? There you go, Tom. That's all for you, buddy. Here's a bonus. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day at work, Tom. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. It'll be interesting. What about you guys? Like, does anybody here have a uh, an opinion on, like, do you play handheld stuff or do you just play, like, on screens? Like, what's your thoughts? I, I wonder if I'm, like, in the minority here. I saw uh, Chris said earlier, he's got four, my God, four 32 inch curved monitors. Did, is it literally just, are you, are you in a 360? Like <laughs> I picture you just like sitting and then around your head are just four monitors. <laughs> oh goodness. I love that. Uh, what'd you say, Luke? Have you ever heard of Warframe? It's on steam and it has just mesmerizing gameplay it's space theme maybe you like it i haven't heard war uh the name sounds familiar let me let me look that up real quick here warframe free action rpg oh i've heard of it i've heard of it i haven't played it is it a, it's a first person yeah is it like a first person shooter i, I don't know why it's not telling me anything here Oh, here it is. Cooperative, free-to-play, third-person. Okay, online action game set in an evolving sci-fi world. Got it. Uh, I haven't played it yet. I might have to check it out. I did see... Um, what was that game that I just put on my wish list? Um, it's one that's been out for a little while, but it looked really cute. It was like a little sci-fi... Basically, you like... Uh, it's, it's almost like you control the crew of a spaceship... Uh, and it, to what it looks like is you're like, basically it's like one of those where you like have to send, um, the, you know, these crew members, the resources to different points throughout the ship to like repair and do things and do different functions to kind of keep things, uh, you know, working properly. I might download that. So I want to wait for it to go on sale. Cause it was like 20 bucks. And I was like 20 bucks for like a game. That's like a couple years old. I don't think so. Um, but anyways, that's another one I want to try out. Um, let's see what anybody, did anybody say anything else? It's you, um, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. You wouldn't like the GPD win then? I love it, but can only play low to mid games. No cyberpunk. Oh, gotcha. Um, you play PS4 mostly. When I feel so nostalgic, I'll play Pokemon on the Nintendo DS. Okay, okay, okay. I guess like, I want, I, yeah, I don't have a Game Boy anymore, but like, I had a Game Boy growing up, so that kind of a handheld thing. But again, that was very, like, very simple game stuff. It was like a pick it up and play, and then when you're done playing, you just put it down, and then you can pick it back up and play it again later, you know? Games nowadays are just becoming so, they're so intricate and so um, complex that it's very hard to do that sometimes. Excuse me. Uh, there's the variety of switching the gun's swords, which you, oh, that's kind of cool. And the flexibility in terms of movement. That sounds pretty fun. I have a Switch Lite, but haven't really played much on it. I only get 30-minute lunch breaks. Mm. Um, the Switch is cool. I, I think it was it's perfect for... Um, Mary used to travel quite often uh, for her old job. And um, she would take that with her. And I think that was a... Um, a good option for her, especially when she was in like, when she would be done with her work and she'd be back at the hotel room, you know, she, cause she loves to play games on there. So I feel like that, um, that worked out pretty good for her. Snake is low key, a top tier game. Snake. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about the old snake where you just like control, uh, the little snake and it collects the little dots? Yeah, snake on the Nokia. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my gracious. I did I I, I did I did play that on my old uh Nokia. What the hell is that phone called? It wasn't even it was just like that that brick phone, you know. Nokia. Oh yeah, we've talked about this before. That there's a, a certain way that people uh say Nokia. Nokia, right? Because you say Nokia. 
but I say Nokia. I found my old Nokia 3210 and it's still working. Oh my gosh. Mostly PC these days. I did play on the Xbox One, but found annoying that nearly every time I turn it on, I had to wait for an update. Oh, that's, I, I was, here's what I'll say. I'll say that's frustrating in general, uh, where games and systems nowadays, like you can't go a day. I, I mean, I can't go at least once a day, maybe sometimes multiple times a day, where Steam pops up and goes, oh, hey, we got an update. I'm like, Steam, you are the host for games. Like, why are you updating every single freaking day? I mean, it's fine, whatever. I don't care about it. But it's like, everything is an update now. Everything. Games, uh, uh, programs, phones. Like, oh my God. It's like, how did you, how did we, how did we survive on games back in the day when, it was just the cartridge, like what Chris is talking about. Like, there was no updates. Like, you just played the game. The game had to be done to the point where it was like, well, this is what this is the final product. Now games are like, okay, we're going to release uh, this brand new game, but just a heads up, we're still working on some stuff. So the first, the first patch, you know, the first update will really, you know get the game to where you, I'm like, wait, what? I'm, just, I'm buying this game and it's not even ready yet? Like, okay. That annoys me. I get really annoyed when I see things about games that are releasing and then they say, oh, mm, this isn't ready, but it'll be ready for the first uh, update. What? No. The game should be ready when it's released. Come on. It's not like you're just releasing it. You've been testing it. You've had alpha and beta testers like... I don't know why I'm getting on such a rant with this. <laughs> these, uh, these gaming studios that are um, sometimes like more about profit than anything else. They just have a deadline of, you know, we got to get the game out by a certain time. And I'm sure the game designers themselves are like fighting tooth and nail to like, no, 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 no. Like, we don't want to release it yet. It's not ready yet, you know. Um, and I feel like uh, it it creates that world of like, we got to get the game out there now. Um, and I'm sure those gaming, you know, designers and developers are like, ah, what? It's not ready. <laughs> um, let's see, I missed a few things. You still have your original NES? I do too. It's in a box. And I, I really need to plug it in to see like how, because the last time I played it was probably about like mm, six or seven years ago. I had it hooked up to my old TV and it worked. I don't know about today. I, it should still work, right? The, the thing is probably going to last forever. I still have to blow in the games. I love that so much. Uh, my work laptop updated yesterday. took four and a half hours, right? Like, why? Why? I just, have you guys seen the, the news about, like, Windows 11 is on the way? And I guess, like, you, I don't know if you can officially download it yet, but, like, people have been saying that you can update. It's like, oh, God. That's going to jack everything up. I feel like that Windows 11, I don't, even, I don't want to touch for like a year because like everything that I have on my computers, it's, it, it's, it's going to just be a mess. It's going to be a disaster. <laughs> um, Call of Duty is awful for it now. The game is 100 gigabytes plus and each update is around 60 gigabytes. What in the world is that? That's just insanity. Ugh. I mean, that game, I mean, just when I tried to play it, on here originally it was a disaster um although now that i have the two pc thing i guess i could play it again but whatever i'm not going to get into that um we did it to ourselves people getting into private beta tests um well the dutch word is alum aluminium oh god not this again aluminium <laughs> uh and then later was open betas uh then it was early release yeah you're right Guys, what's your favorite old school game? Ooh, this is a good good question. Monkey Island was my first love. Um, old school game that's like my favorite. That's so hard. Uh, there's just so many games. Yeah, one that sticks out in my head that I, I don't know why I love it so much, but I, I play it every now and then on the Switch, is the old um, Super Mario 2. I don't know why, because I think a lot of people didn't enjoy that game, but I liked it a lot. Super Mario Brothers 2. I liked the option of being able to choose your character. I thought that was fun. And I like that 
each character had its own like uh you know special ability right because the princess could like do the hover or the um or toad being able to jump faster to get out of the sand the quicksand you know or um luigi had that weird like <laughs> the jumping with his feet thing <laughs> that i didn't enjoy very much <laughs> and then mario was just your like all around you know general guy um Let's see. Both Ruth and I just shouted out Grim Fandango. I've never played that. Um, but I heard, I, I've heard it's a great game, but I've never played it. I remember you and I playing uh, your SNES Super Mario Brothers was your favorite. Oh, that game was so fun. You are right. I used to love, I would, um, that particular Super Mario Brothers for, for Super Nintendo, I had it saved, because, you know, I beat the game. And I had it saved uh so that way, like, whenever I wanted to go in and, and, and do that last boss battle with Bowser, I could just do it whenever I wanted. Because I loved the end credits. I wonder if anybody has that on YouTube. I haven't seen it since. Like, I used to play that game. And I absolutely loved the way they did the credits for that game. I'd watch it over and over and over and over. Um... My friends are coming by, so I'll have to leave. Oh, uh, see you later, Luke, if you didn't leave already. We'll see you next time. Have a good weekend. Um, Super Mario World. Yep, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Um, let's see. Ultima Online was my favorite old school MMO. I never played that one. I didn't get into MMOs until, like... I, mm, is that right? Is that going to be my first one? I'm trying to go back and think. Like, I feel like the first one I really got into and I played for, I mean, years was Lord of the Rings Online. I played that during the beta and then I bought the lifetime subscription. So technically, even today, I can still go and sign in and I have a gazillion points because you get points if you're a lifetime member. They just give you points every month and I still have it. And I loved, I loved that game. It's hard to play now because the graphics are so, um, it's a little rougher, you know, when you go back to some of those old school games. But um, that was one of my favorites. Hold on. I got to look up the, okay, it was Super Mario World Ending. Let's see. Let's see if they have it. Oh, my God, they do. Guys, we're watching this. Hold on. Um... You're playing WoW, don't talk about it. But here's what I'll say about WoW. Here, here's the only thing I will say, is that World of Warcraft, they at least updated at some point in their journey, right? So, yes, it's not like, it's not like the, the, you know, the highest setting of graphics or like the, the mo it's definitely not realistic, right? That, and that's the reason why I stayed, I stayed with Lord of the Rings Online for probably five or six years straight. And I would never, and people would be like, well, play World of Warcraft if you like. I'm like, no, I'm not going to play it because it's too, it's a cartoon. Like, I'm not going to play a cartoon game. I got Lord of the Rings online. It's like real looking people running around, you know, in the world of uh, Token. And, and and I was that way forever. And then I started playing World of Warcraft, like not even that, I mean, it was just that a few years ago. I really was playing it like, you know, sticking to it. And I just, I, there is a, a special appreciation, I think, for that type of graphics. And, and, and Dylan's right. The cinematography in WoW, I think, beats probably any other game. I think Blizzard itself, even going back to the days of um, StarCraft and the, the old world, uh, sorry, the old Warcraft games, cinematography, they've just always blown everybody else out of the water. I don't know how they do it. They're just so good at it. And uh, they, they still maintain that somehow um, through all, throughout all the years. But the problem is that Lord of the Rings Online hasn't really done much to update graphics. Because even when I go in, like, it's 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 jittery. It's like, I don't know. It's like, why is it not working? I don't understand why they can't get it to be more smooth. I'm sure there's something there that's, you know, more technical than I'm, that I'm aware of. But, um, but, but still lots of people play it. I'll go in every now and then, and um, it's pretty cool. So I'm old school. I can't bring myself to play a super game. I, I'm the same way. Well, that was why with Lord of the Rings Online, I said, I'm going to buy this lifetime thing because I'm not going to pay monthly. And sure enough, I, I think I bought, I think at the time, the lifetime subscription was 
I think it was $199. And I did the math and I was like, okay, for $199, let's think about this. So if it's, I think it, I think it was either $14.99 a month. I want, I think that was it. I think, let's say it was, you know, $14.99 a month. And I did the math and I was like, oh, okay. So I at least have to play it for, you know, X amount of time. I went well beyond um, the, the, the amount of time that it would have taken to make, get my money back for the lifetime subscription. The fact that I still am technically sub- subscribed to Lord of the Rings Online blows my mind. Like, I, I mean, I guess you can't get rid of it if somebody's already bought it, right? <laughs> um, so kind of neat. I, I like that. I did, I did the same thing for Star Trek Online. Oh, it's funny. You just mentioned Star Trek Online. Um, I bought the lifetime subscription for that as well because I didn't want to pay. And then they went free to play. So again, both of these, Star Trek Online and Lord of the Rings Online, every now and then I'll sign into them and I have like all these ridiculous points and then I'll use them for a little bit and then sometimes I'll play, but sometimes I won't. I loved Star Trek Online when it first came out. I think the stories were great, but it is rough to play. Yeah, it's super rough to play sometimes. And it's sad because I feel like that is such a great... um, um, what a great, like, um, what do you call it? Franchise to be a part of Star Trek online. Like why, why? I don't know. I love Every time I go to one of the Vegas conventions, the, the Star Trek conventions, um, you know, they have panels where the people from Star Trek online are there and they talk about the ships and the new characters that they're bringing in and stuff. So it's definitely still very active, but I agree. It's, it's, and yeah, the UI is weird. The movement is super weird in that game. It's hard. It's hard to play that after you play other um, other games. But a lot of people still play it. I loved it for the ships. I think I ended up just like, I tried to buy as many ships as I could um, in the game. Because it was just, that was my best part. I was like, let me see how many ships I can collect. And the ship models were great. I think they do a great job with that. Okay, Super Mario N theme. I just found it, guys. We're going to watch this. Um, let me see if I can uh, get this rolling here. Okay, let's pull up. Hold on, let me pause this so we don't. All right, we're gonna go full screen. All right, let me switch over here. Aha. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, let me, I'll bring it in a little bit so we can see the full full screen. La la. All right, guys, are we ready? We're going to watch the Super Mario World end credits after you beat Bowser. Oh, did we lose sound? Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Let me see what happened. Oh, it's working again? Okay. Yeah, for some reason it switched the source. I'm not sure why it did that. Um, let me just go back. I missed a few things here. I think there always has to be an appreciation for archaic games as it paved the way for gaming we have today. It is true. That is very true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard because I think that we love, like we love those old games, but for me, sometimes when I pull them up and I'll play them, I'm like, Ugh. it's hard. It's hard to play them today. Um because we're so used to the new and the, you know, the, the, the newest and the best uh, graphics and sounds and, you know, blah, 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 blah. But there is a cool nostalgic thing to some of the old games. Um, okay, Shadowman was my favorite large-scale guild versus guild game. Oh, I, don't, I never played that one. Um, all right, here we go. Let's watch this real quick. Okay. I'm super excited about this. Oh my god. Guys, I'm getting like I'm getting like overwhelmed. Oh, and the music is so good. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic right now. <laughs> I can't smile big enough. Boom 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 boom. Oh my god, guys. Ah, oh, this is so good. I, 
wonder, there's gotta be versions of this song that are like redone. I gotta find them. I love this music so much. Oh my gosh. Oh. I love it, how it does that over and over again, too. Wow. Bum, bum, dun, 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 dun. Oh, gosh. And then we get like the full, here's all the characters from the game. Oh, I forgot about this part. It's like the return home. Oh my God. Guys, what? The little baby Yoshis. Oh, and thank you. Oh my God. Got a little tear. I got a little tear going on. Here we go. And then it's like, here's our cast of characters. Amazing. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. And now just seeing all these characters again too. Ugh, oh, this is amazing guys. I I would play this thing over and over and over and over again. Oh my god, the dinos! I forgot about them! The mass Koopas? Ugh. This is so ridiculous. Blarg! underwater levels. <laughs> Rip Van Fish? That was their name? I forgot about that. Oh, the Boo Buddies. Ah, oh, so good. Thwomp and Thwimp. <laughs> so good. about these guys. Oh, key change! Oh, I hated these guys. Ugh. Oh! There it is! Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, oh I'm feeling it right here, guys. I'm feeling it. That was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Uh, wow. I'm so glad we got to watch that. That was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I don't even, I'm like, whatever. Like, I'm just like, that was great. Um, hold on. I just realized I need to change. I'm not, I'm not playing today. I just realized we're not going to be playing. <laughs> This has just turned into a just chatting. I'm just gonna update that real quick in case people are coming in here like, what is not, you're not playing Sea of Thieves, what the hell? <laughs> um, wow, that was great. Uh, <laughs> Yorkie, when they used to thank you for playing rather than now buy the DLC to see the real ending. <laughs> so true. Yeah, gr I mean, how awesome is it? Like, you, they thank you. They thank you for playing the game. Um, Okay, I'm gonna see, let me see if I can find if somebody has redone the music. Let's see. Um, ooh, there's a big band Broadway version. Oh, hell yeah. Let's see if this is what we want. Okay, hold on, let's listen. They're putting you two in charge. Well, hold on, we have to okay. watch our monsters. After we're after. <laughs> monsters at work people.
Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Guys, this is... Wow. This is fantastic. Oh, they're on Spotify? What is this? I can't even handle this right now. Oh, I, I, like, I love this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in the chat in case you guys ever want to look at it. I'm gonna like follow these guys now. This is so great. Hey Chris, thanks for uh, hanging around. Have a good weekend. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Check out the musical stylings of KK Slider. Let me add that to my list. Sounds beautiful. sure I have Super Mario on here. Oh, gosh, it's so good. to wonder like did they like i'd love to like get a history of like when they made the game right so obviously like somebody made it through some sort of um you know software for for the for it to play in the game but like did they ever do uh, a version of it with a, a a full orchestra to hear what it sounded like or did they always just do it like you know like uh whoever made the music presented it to the whoever it was that the, gave the yes or the no uh, and that was it. They only ever heard the game version. And then later, like when people like this made the song based upon, you know, using real instruments, I'd love to know that. I would love to know if that was ever a thing. Like, did the original sound creators of the music for the game, when they heard like the real live version, I th that, that would be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful to watch. Like why? Uh, this, I, I'm going to finish it. Got your hydrate. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Also, watching this video is pretty amazing too. Like, I should have put it up, but watching these guys play. They're all pretty young. 
so they probably are, you know, they grew up with it like we did. And just the joy in their faces of like, as they play it. Ah, that's amazing. They have so much stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm definitely subscribing to them right now. Um, what else? They, they must have a bunch of, oh my God, they have so much stuff. I'm going to get lost in this, guys. <laughs> um, they have so many themes. What is happening right now? I am blown away. I'm blown. I'm only blown away because, like, on Spotify, I've looked up, um, you know, uh, gaming music, and I've I've found a few different. Like, there's some albums on there that have like variety of different um, creators and stuff. But these guys are fully dedicated to it, and they have so much content. I'm going to follow them on Spotify too. This is fantastic. They have so much stuff. Wait, here, here's um, is this the right? So they have KK. Oh my gosh, they have it from Animal Crossing, uh, who you recommended. Hold on, let me play this one. With groceries this This fresh, is the Kroger commercial. It's delivery. It's Kroger <laughs> over delivery. Hold on. <laughs> okay, here we go. They have him singing and the band playing. What is this? Oh my god, this is fantastic. Also, this video was definitely done during COVID because they're all playing like from their own homes. Uh, how cute. I never knew about this character. Is he like a character that just plays music in the game? I don't know much about the... I, I never played Animal Crossing, so I don't know much about it. But I love the music. Um, hold on, let me see what else they got. Anything fun? Um, Super Mario Salsa? Super Mario Brothers Salsa Big Bang... Wait, what is this? Hold on. Let's listen to this one. <laughs> I love these sound effects. Getting a little teared up. This is so good. This episode is going to be reacting to the 8 bit big band. Ugh. Wow. Oh, it's so good. Okay, all right. Oh, God, I'm going to. I'm going to. Oh my God, they have a Sims. <gasps> Guys, they have the Sims by mode music. I mean... Oh my God, what? Oh my god, that's amazing. So, the Sims music, uh, there, uh, who was it that I found? There was an artist uh, that does um, movie soundtracks that that did uh, some of the Sims music. I can't remember who it is off the top of my head. Sound, it did sound like the Flintstones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, let me see. Um, Okay, Tetris theme. I mean, we know what this is going to be. Do you like playing tabletop games? But I do. Be in the same yeah. place at the same time. Well, sometimes, yeah. Luckily, yeah. There's Let me skip this ahead. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is theme A from Tetris. Oh my god. 
god. What? What? Oh my god. Holy crap. I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. Okay, it's four minutes long, so I can't play the whole thing. But also what I love is in this video, there's a guy that's in the, uh, I think he's in the trumpet section. He's wearing a Starfleet um, Academy shirt. It's the same one that I have. I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> These guys, hold on, let me pull, let me pull it up, because you guys need to see, like, these guys are just, like, dressed in their, their cash, their casual outfits. Um, they're just, they're, look, watch this, watch this. It's just amazing, it's absolutely amazing. I love these guys. They're just like hanging out playing music and they sound amazing. Oh, God, it's so good. All right, I want to know I want to know where these guys are. I want to go see them live. Like where is their concerts happening? Uh, okay, let me go back to their their full list here. Let me see if there's any other cool ones. Wow. Man, I love that they have like these one minute bites too. Like they have just these one minute songs uh, taken from games. Like so cool. The Tetris blocks are more on rhythm. <laughs> Listen, I can't help it, okay? I can't help the delay. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see here. Let's see if there's anything else I wanted to sneak into or that, that brings back some nostalgia. Let's see here. Um, oh, what? The moon theme from DuckTales? Okay, hold on. It's been a long time since I played this game. Let's see if I recognize. Celebrate summer with Black Friday mattress savings at Ashley Home Store. Get up to 40% off. Friday. Select Ashley what? Sleep, Groove, Sealy, and Beauty. Sounds so amazing. Wow, this is amazing. I love that they're showing the the stuff from the game. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, how are they doing on view? Oh gosh, great, yeah, great. They're, I was like, let me make sure they're doing great on views. Like they need to, these guys need to be popular. Oh yeah, they're doing great, they're doing great. Okay, let's see what else. Um, any other things that pop out? I haven't played, I've only, I've, I've only seen people play Odyssey. I haven't played it myself. Um, so what does this say? Full score analysis, oh my. Dire Dire Docks. Mario 64 I played a lot of. Maybe I'll recognize this one. I don't recognize this yet. Oh, the new DuckTales graphics. I know, right? Wow. Oh, what? Stop it. This is ridiculous.
Oh, God. It, 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 yeah, it is ear candy for sure. Wow. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I just, I can't, I can't get over this. It's so good. Uh, wow. I need more. I need them to continue to release. <laughs> it looks like they release about every month. It looks like something's coming out. Uh, hopefully it's continuing. It says it's been about a month ago, so there should be something coming out now. The 8-bit big band. Let's go. Only 162,000 subscribers. Come on. We got to get that number up. We got to go. We got to go. Let's go. <laughs> wow. Guys. That is fantastic. Oh, gosh. I just love that so much. All right. I'm going to keep that up as well so I don't forget um, to follow them on Spotify. I'm probably going to, like, tag them in this stream. It was so good. Wow. Well. I'm done. I don't know about you guys. It was so good. Hey, Justin, what's going on? Sorry, I saw you pop in earlier. You said you were lurking. I uh, hope you're doing good. Okay, let's do... Um, let's do an evil voice story time. We haven't done one in a while. And uh, Chris requested one and then left. <laughs> Oops. I think... Uh, did he say... He said to pick one, right? To let me pick it? Oops. Um... I was going to lurk and then I couldn't help it. <laughs> All right. Uh, hold on. I got two mouses here that I can't keep track of. He said for you to pick one. Okay. Got it. Um, cool. All right. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to pick a page. Let me pull up my, my little tracker here. So for those, if anybody's watching that hasn't seen me, seen this before, uh, we have this Mother Goose Treasury uh, book. And we have a, a little twist on it where we have a, a, a little devilish friend uh, who reads uh, the story uh, to you. So it's great for the children. Not. Um, all right, let me pick a page. Let's see. Um, let's do uh, uh, one, three, eight. Already picked. How is that possible? One, fifty, eight. Not picked. Okay, let me double check. Let me see what we got here. 158. Do, 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 Now I'm going to be like singing Mario songs the rest of the day. Oh my god, this is a long one. Good lord. Okay, it actually starts on 156. Wait, let me double check. I feel like... I think I've done this one, but let me see. Hold on. 156. No, I haven't. Okay. All right, let's see. So 156, 157, 158, 159 are all picked now. Okay. All right, so we'll save that so we don't forget. Okay, great. Um, cool, I guess uh, we'll just get down to business here. So let's, um, let's see. Oh, I forgot to bring out my... <clears throat> There we go. All right, cool. All right, let's bring her out. Um, ladies and gentlemen, our beautiful friend, <laughs> her name is Betty. Here we go round the mulberry bush, 
the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we wash our clothes, wash our clothes, wash our clothes. This is the way we wash our clothes on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we iron our clothes, iron our clothes, iron our clothes. This is the way we iron our clothes on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we scrub the floor, scrub the floor, scrub the floor. This is the way we scrub the floor on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we mend our clothes, mend our clothes, mend our clothes. This is the way we mend our clothes on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we sweep the floor, sweep the floor, sweep the floor. This is the way we sweep the floor on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we bake our bread, bake our bread, bake our bread. This is the way we bake our bread on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we get dressed up, get dressed up, get dressed up. This is the way we get dressed up on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we eat the children, eat the children, eat the children. This is the way we eat the children in my dark, burning basement. I added that last one in in case you couldn't figure it out. All right, well, listen, that story was so freaking long. I gotta go. Uh, I hope you all have a terrible weekend. Bye. Whoa. Whoa, she improvised a little bit there. A little improvisation at the end of that one. <laughs> Betty. <laughs> Betty and her shenanigans. <laughs> um, yeah, that one was so long. Uh, gosh, this darn microphone. I don't know why it gets in the way. Never got in the way before. Um, my, uh, my mom would read it to me and best believe I couldn't wait for her to finish. <laughs> That's a long story. Uh, as a parent, I would be like, no, we're not reading that one tonight. No, this, we're not going to read that one. There's sometimes with Charlie when she like, because we let her pick out her books, you know, from the shelf and um, she'll go to grab like a particular one. And I'm like, mm -mm. or as I'm like reading through the book, I'll be like, I'll have grabbed like two pages as I flip it. <laughs> I can only get away with that right now because as she gets older, she's going to know. <laughs> she's going to be like, dad, don't skip pages. A real time sucker. Yeah, that was a real time sucker. <laughs> oh goodness hello jamal how you doing welcome to the stream um <laughs> that one was really ridiculous <laughs> but you could you could like basically turn anything into that nursery rhyme let's see um uh like you could be like what could you say i'm trying to think of like other chores you do around the house like this is the way we wash the dishes wash the dishes um, like, this is the way, this is the way we, uh, uh, feed the cat. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's also funny that it all happened on a, a cold, frosty morning. I mean, they were pretty busy on that cold, frosty morning. There was a lot of things they were doing. They washed the clothes. They ironed the clothes. <laughs> this is the way we unclog the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one i like that one <laughs> i'm doing good jamal thank you for asking thank you for asking um yeah okay so let's redeem that okay we still have a stretch so let's jump into that real quick as you know guys we got we got a lot of activity that we do here on the stream so we gotta we gotta stretch it out okay or if you've been sitting at home or wherever you are and you haven't been moving around uh like now's the time to do it okay so let's find our appropriate music. Okay. I don't think this is it. Nope. Where? <laughs> I thought I saved it. Didn't I save it yesterday? Oh, God. I've lost it. Hold on. Is it down here? Is this? No, this isn't it. Oh, dear. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can find. 
last time I think I just browsed through, let me see, let me see, let me see, genres. Uh, 19, no, yeah, 1980s, let's see, here we go, what do we got here? This is, uh, okay, let's try this one. Oh, no, no, that's not, that's not what we want. We need something like, um, da, da, uh, uh, uh. I guess it sounds better, but it's not, we need something faster. How about this one here? Oh, this is the one we did yesterday. What about this one? What's this one? I mean, this is this is 100% 80s for sure. This reminds me of like uh, the ending to like a nice like the couple has gotten together, like the heartwarming moment. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we're not stretching to that. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> sensual 80s foreplay. Yeah, no. Okay, let's find uh, something else. Let's see. Oh, wait, here we go. What about this one? Oh, okay. This isn't bad. It's got a little a beat to it. It's still like not quite, not quite what I'm looking for. We need a good exercise or a good stretch song. No, nope, already starting off too slow. Uh, how about this one? Ooh. I think this might be it. It's a little slow. It's like driving through the city or something. Um, I'm not having any luck finding any good. Uh, I mean, we're just gonna have to go back to old, old faithful here. This one we know is what we want. So here we go. <clears throat> Perfect. <laughs> All right, everybody. <clears throat> Stretch out those arms. Uh, 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 oh, God. Okay. Stretch out. Uh, uh, another. Okay. Great. Stretch out your neck. <laughs> Stream range. <laughs> Let's see what else. What else do I want to try to stretch out here? <laughs> stretch out. Uh, oh. Uh. oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. We got that stretch out. <laughs> oh lordy. Um. All right. Cool. That's out of the way. Thank goodness that's out of the way. <laughs> am I right? Am I right? I don't know why they don't have any. Like, is there another? genre that I should be looking at. There's 80s rock, but that's I want like 80s like like disco or what's the right thing to use? Let's see. Let's type in 80s um it's it's too much of a there's too much of a range for 80s. Like I need to narrow it down somehow. I tried 80s workout and that gave me like one option which we've already played. <laughs> oh wait, we haven't have we done this one? Oh no, yeah, we did that one before. Okay. Uh, anyways, I gotta find some more uh, 80s, 80s workout type music. Um, I could hear your joints. Thanks, Mandy. Thanks. Crunch, crack, snap. <laughs> Do they have like a, hold on. <laughs> um, oh, here we go. Oh God. <laughs> Wait a minute, what about this one? Oh! <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh man. <laughs> if your joints sound like that, it's a doctor. It sounds very dry. <laughs> it sounds like you might need some milk. Oh lordy. Yep, that's me. I don't know, you guys can't hear it, but that's just me every time I stretch. <laughs> Jesus. Sounds like me getting up. <laughs> Yeah, you need a little need a little uh dairy in my uh in my diet. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Uh what time is it? Oh my gosh, we're almost at the end of the time. The end of our time together before we head to the weekend. Uh I was trying to think if there's anything else. 
I know I didn't play a game today. Sorry. Hope everybody was okay with that. Just got so caught up in the, the video game, the nostalgia, the music. It was beautiful. I can't wait to listen to more. Um, I really still want to play. There's a couple games that I want to play. One, there's a game that Dylan had a great suggestion on that I want to play with you guys. Maybe we'll try that on Tuesday. Um, I'm not going to give you any details. I'm just going to say it was a really cool idea. So we might get that. We might make that happen on Tuesday. <laughs> um, you're on holiday week next week. Oh, well, that's good. Well, have a good holiday week. Um, I'm not going to lie. I don't remember. Uh, it's okay. I'll, I'll send you a message. We'll figure it out. Um, what's the holiday? Is it like a, uh, are you just like off that week for something? Or is, it an, is there an actual holiday that's happening uh, for the week? Uh, I start my new job on Monday, which is exciting. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Is it fun? Like, do you know which, are you excited to do it? Is it like a job that you've been wanting to do? Uh, oh, vacation. Okay, cool. Are you going, so are you going somewhere? My memory is awful. We should know this by now. <laughs> You're also on holiday next week. Oh my gosh, everybody's out. Guys, you picked the wrong week. The week after next is when I go on vacation. We got to sync our vacations, guys. Come on. <laughs> Uh, that's all right. We'll just, we'll make it happen, I guess. <laughs> uh, excited. You're still teaching special ed, just a new online school. Oh, that's exciting. Um, so is it like, so when you say online, is it like you'll just be doing online classes? Uh, instead of in person? Excuse me. Uh, we're meeting Russ at the seaside. Oh, nice. That'll be fun. I hope we see more pictures of you in your um, wonderful shirts as you guys enjoy your vacation. We would love to see the uh, the the some of some random photos of that if you could, please. That'd be great. Thank you. Um, I also want to play the other game that we were talking about, where I, I need to find out. I need to find a place that gives me like random uh, it, uh, stars to impersonate. Or maybe we can come up with a list. Or maybe I can come up with a list. And maybe, I don't know. We'll have to do something. But I need to, I need to figure out that one. Because that one, I've been thinking about that one a lot. I think that one's going to be super fun. To do like random impressions. <laughs> and totally ruin them. And try to get you guys to guess who I'm impersonating. It's going to be a mess. Um, a lot of students come from bad in-person school experiences. Oh, interesting, interesting. That's so sad. But listen, yeah, you are doing you're doing amazing work um, by helping students uh, that need it like that. It's just a a job that like I feel like doesn't get enough appreciation. So thank you so much for doing that. Uh, what a wonderful career for you to take up and um, help others. I love it. But then they get you, and it's all better. I love it. I love it. That's fantastic. That's really great. Uh, yes, it is vlog. Please make sure you pronounce it correctly. Uh, only vlogs are allowed, uh, <laughs> on this stream and, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, in our community. Yeah. Vlogs, please. We don't allow those silly vlogs. Okay. They're not allowed here. Only vlogs, please. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Listen, I think we're going to end this up. I mean, we're getting to the weekend guys. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Um, I don't really have too much planned. I think we have a couple of little get togethers with some friends. Um, I think we have some like just one tomorrow evening and then we have uh Sunday. We're doing something with our friends. It's, it'll be a, like a nice little friends weekend. And then we're getting to like the countdown to our vacation, which is uh, at the end of next week. So I'm super excited for that. Still waiting for an Ashby vlog. Yeah. I am terrible at doing that kind of stuff. I just never feel like there's anything that's interesting enough for people. And then there's like the pressure of like needing to feel like I'm entertaining, you know, in a video. And then the fact that I have to like edit it blech, too much. It's just too much for me. This I love because like I can just do whatever I want. And if you like it, great. If you don't, that's fine too. I don't care. Um, <laughs> if you laugh and smile, that's fine with me. And I don't have to edit it. It's just like raw. <laughs> <laughs> it just works. It sounds like a log that comes out of a V. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. 
Wow. All right. Well, we're going to end it on that one, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go listen to video game music for the rest of the day. Uh, I don't know about you all. Um, I think that's it. I think we're at the end, guys. Um, listen, thank you so much for being around this week. I know it's been a little, little hectic with uh, technical things. And I know Tuesday was a little wackadoodle for our streams, but uh, I appreciate you guys sticking around and, and I appreciate you guys helping me out a lot too, giving me some feedback on the, the stream stuff and helping me out with some problems that I was having with all the, the techie nonsense, but we got it working. Stream is strong and, and, and going good. So next week will probably be, we'll probably, we should be back to normal as far as like our schedule of days uh, doing stuff. So Tuesday, Tuesday, we are going to talk about Loki. So better be caught up because spoilers are going to be a flying. There's going to be spoilers all over the place. All over the place. Okay, you guys, <laughs> I love these emotes because they're almost like, it's like the uh, the old school, um, the cane, the, the hook, the cane and hook thing where it was like, all right, Ashby, you're done. Like they're playing me off. The emotes are flying. <laughs> it's time to get out of here. <laughs> I love it. Thank you guys so much. All right, listen, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Have a wonderful weekend, and uh, Russ and, and uh, Ruth and Chris, please have a wonderful vacation. Can't wait to hear all about it, see wonderful pictures. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys uh, on Tuesday. So remember, <laughs> as the things flying across the screen are telling you, be kind, be compassionate, and be yourself. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye, everyone.